bought it before in Amazon, the the book one, the, the physical book. But it was lost. It was stolen in the office. Oh. And then in my country, it's so difficult to order that one. Well, I don't know how to give it to you, my friend, but... Uh... Maybe no, no, uh, okay. maybe you should uh, uh, you should uh, ask you know for refund from Amazon. Did you ask for refund? No, no, it, no, 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 bro. Uh, it was so no. It, I I I got the physical book and I was studying studying and reading it. Okay. And I was uh, left it in the office and it was stolen. But it's okay, bro. Ah, in I the think, office. Uh, next time. Uh, this is a religious. Okay. It must be a religious person who stole the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe my boss. Uh, oh, right, my brother. Yeah. He saw it then, yeah. Maybe. Okay. Oh, let us stop here, otherwise he will hear you. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah thank you. Uh, thank you, my brother. And All right. keep safe. Take care. Bye-bye. We will gonna support you as long as we can. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah, speaking of support, actually, I just received an email today in Patreon from a brother. He's saying to me, sorry, I cannot support you no more. I cut all my ties with Lisa. I cannot watch my video, you, you know, uh, your video, uh, me and my daughter, and uh, I mean drama. I want to make it uh, clear here, you know. Nobody here is supporting me. It is the opposite. It is me who is supporting you, and if you if you think your donation the support you are talking about please don't give it to me it's a very shameful yeah. behavior let me speak brother if you don't mind a very very shameful you know behavior that people they go to chat they fight with each other and then they come back to me i'm not here to nurse you i'm not here to play your daddy i have a big fight not your little small tiny ones so, if you are here, you think you are supporting me, you are mistaken. I'm the last one who needs your support. It is the opposite. It's your kids who are hunted. It's your family. It's your society. And all of you, you will pay the price. I'm doing the work which nobody is doing. Not even your priest. So, don't give me your drama. You do not need to come to me and tell me those emails. Stop your donation immediately if you ever give me a donation. And if there is a way to give it to you back, let me know. All right, brother. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, bro. All right. Uh, Talash, go ahead. Hello, Sydney. Can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Is my audio better? Because I spoke to you yesterday and there was a lot of noise. All right, now the voice, let us see. Yeah, last time you spoke, I remember your voice was very bad. Yeah, is it better now? Is it my audible? It's still cutting, but it's okay. Go ahead. Okay, um, you know, I uh, yesterday we had a discussion about, uh, you know, pets. Because I, mean, I created uh, humanity and the rest of creatures of pets. And at that time, you made a quote from uh, one of the one of the aisles that is 1740, where you said, angels as daughters. So I went through that uh, verse. It doesn't just doesn't say anything about uh, gender. You know? Can you, Talash, can you, uh, can you uh, write for me uh, your question in the chat, and I will read it, because your voice is really not coming good to me, and I don't understand. So if you can, if you don't mind, uh, go to the chat right now, write your question, and I promise you to answer immediately. All right? Okay, okay. All right. Sorry, sorry, sorry about the audio. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Just type your, type your question and I will answer you. <clears throat> I don't think it's internet, maybe. Maybe it is the, the microphone, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I will be waiting for your, uh, your chat post and we will be, I will answer you right away. <laughs> Let us close some browser. All right. All right. 
We are waiting for our brother here to give me the answer. The question, sorry. <clears throat> All right, enter he make his question ready. Uh, see if there is anyone Talash. Okay. Chapter seventeen verse forty. How did you assume the gender of the angel as female? This was Allah addressing Meccan pagans who associated Allah with the son and angels and daughter. All right. Let us go to chapter 1740 and uh, read what he is asking for. All right, brother. I got your question. Let us go. <coughs> You're saying how I assume that this is speaking about the gender. But isn't it the verse saying clearly that the angels, uh, the, the, the Arab, they made the angels female? Right? What is the objection for this? Is being females. Uh, when the Muslims, they speak about any angel, they say he. They never say anything but he. And here Allah is opposing the angels to be called females. If we go to different verse in the Quran, we will find this. Chapter 4, verse 117, it says, All, like those, you know, they, they worship nothing but female deity. So, the Quran is confusing the Muslims about who is what we are talking about. Sometimes he make it the angels. They are worshipping the angels. Sometimes make it like, they don't call them angels, they are calling them deity. So, what the objection is? That they are females. It's not because they are deity, it's because they are females. And then you continue, you will see, uh, this is the chapter you chose. And then you will see here in chapter th uh, 37, verse number 50, it says, Did we created the angels as females? So Allah questioned them, did we create them as females? But nowhere, he says, we did not create them uh, males or females. And Jibreel, as an example, or any of the angels, all of them, they have a male uh, structures and male uh, uh, names. If you go, uh, as an example, <coughs> uh, chapter 43, verse number 19, it says, And they made the angels who themselves are slaves to Allah. <coughs> Females. You see how many times uh, Allah uh, uh, you know, is upset from the female issue. <clears throat> we continue. Uh, in chapter 53, verse number 21, Allah is upset because the pagan Arab, which is the Muslims anyway, uh, complaining that they are worshipping females and they give him three daughters, but they did not give him one son. So he said to them, is it for you, the male, and for him, the female? This is indeed a division most unfair. Here you see any, again the stupidity of the God of Islam. He, he is saying, it's not fair that you take to yourself sons, and for me, daughters. Why? Because he is against having daughters. Uh, uh, so... Everything uh, in the front of us, and at the same time, when the angel came to Mary, he came to her as a perfect man.
And when he came to Muhammad, he came to him as a perfect man. In fact, Muhammad, he said uh, that uh, Jibreel, uh, he came to him in the image of Dahi al-Kilbi. So Jibreel is not possible, or angels in Islam, is not possible for them to be females, but males. Uh, uh, let's see. All right, let me show you this hadith here. So if all there was evidence is not enough to prove that angels in Islam are male, then what is the evidence will be? As you see here, Muhammad making it so clear. This is number one hadith. I will show you more. The angel comes to me in the form of a man and give it to me. Another one. Uh, let us see where is the hadith about the here. This one too. There's many actually, you know. Uh, the Messenger of Allah said, Prophet, blah, 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 etc. So he says that I saw Jibreel in the closest of the people rem remembrance to him from those I have seen is Dahya. Dahya is a handsome young man in Quraysh. So I hope I answered you. Obviously, angels in Islam are male, not female. Same time when the angel came to Mary, <coughs> uh, he came to Mary as a perfect man. Uh, Muslim they say the spirit is an angel. Even though the verse in the Quran says <coughs> this is uh, a spirit. But they say this is Jibreel. He came as a perfect man. You see here the translation says perfect a human. That's false. You change the translator. Uh, let us see Hilali and Khan. CP? Uh huh. You're not sharing your screen. Oh, sorry. Ah, sorry, sorry, guys. I shared my screen in YouTube, but not here. That's my fault. It's okay. Uh, so all this time I was sharing things and psh, unbelievable. Okay, uh, but anyway, I was mentioning the verses one by one, right? Mm -hmm. You heard me, Talash, right? I was saying verse, etc., verse, etc., correct? Uh, so let us go back to the hadith, actually. So the only, we have to go back. Oh, boy. I have to start all over now. That's not fair. <laughs> All right, is my screen is coming? <laughs> anyway, you can go to YouTube and you can play the video again in YouTube to avoid playing it again. Okay, Talash? Yeah, that's okay. No problem. Yeah. I'll check it on YouTube. Yeah. Can All right, okay. Sorry for that. But as you see, there there is over, uh, overwhelming, uh, uh, like uh, even when, when the Quran speak, like it says a messenger. You see the word messenger here in chapter uh, uh, chapter 19? You see the word messenger? Yes. Okay. In Arabic, like messenger, in English maybe you have no gender. It can be male, it can be female. In Arabic, no. In Arabic it says Rasulun, Rasulu, Rabbuki. So Rasul, this is the word the same Muslim they use it for Muhammad. Why? Because he's a male. All right? Okay. All right. CP? Yes. You're not sharing your screen on YouTube or Rumble. Oh boy. Uh oh. <clears throat> I forgot to click at this one. <laughs> okay, you know We have to do it from the beginning then. All right, no problem. So I will go back from zero. No problem. It's okay. It's my fault. 
So I was saying, if we go to the Quran, we will find, now I'm sharing in both. I'm sharing in Ramble, in YouTube, on uh, Discord, and uh, again, you know, so what we can do. Allah forget, I forget, so. All right. So if we go in the Quran, we will find chapter 4, verse 117 says, Do you worship instead of Allah? Female deity? So Islam refused to have anything to do with Allah. They are females. How we can confirm more of that? We continue. We will find here. Chapter 17, verse 40, the one you choose. It says, uh, Did Allah give you the males, sons, and he chose for him females? That and very, very awful indeed. So Allah refused to have females. We continue. <coughs> if we go... <coughs> Uh, 43 verse number 19 it says uh, and they make the angels who themselves are slaves the most high females so what Allah is upset from that they are making them females so obviously angels are not females he did not say they are not males remember he said they are not females. We continue. Uh, in chapter 53, verse number 21, Allah, he said, it is for you, males, and for him, females, for him, mean Allah. So for you, you have male sons, and for me, I have fem uh, female daughters. That's rejected. And this is indeed unfair division. Very weird statement from very weird God. He did not say I don't have. He is upset now from the gender. Uh, and then we continue. It says that those, and here this is very important. Verily, those who believe not in the hereafter name angels with female names. Do you see it? So those who believe in Allah, they will never do that. They will make, they will have names of male angels. Same if we go to the Hadith, we will find, and even the Quran, the angel came to Mary as a perfect man. In chapter 19, verse number 19, the angel said to her, I am a messenger. In English, it doesn't show gender, but in Arabic, it shows gender. Rasul is only a word given for a male messenger. And then here, it says, uh, this this uh, this angel, when he came to her, he appeared to her as a man, and this is supposed to be Jibreel. He did not appear as a female, and not even a single one. And we showed you the verse already, where Allah, he says, only kuffar, they will give angels female names so to make it simple islam is anti-females to have to do anything with god nothing angels assistants messengers they have to be males i hope i answered you and now you have them both in youtube and you can go back to youtube later so you can see the reference or you can go to ramble because we are both in ramble and in youtube all right you send the comment. Let me see. Uh, Allah refute. That's your comment or somebody else's comment? That's mine. That's it. I swear in Quran, Allah makes it clear not to associate anyone other than Allah. So it's like, isn't that contradicting to what you say? It's what? What? what, what I don't see that. Can you pause the comment again? <clears throat> All right. It is the bacon. Bacon is swear in the Quran. Allah make it clear not assassinate anyone else other than Allah. This is shirk, which has no forgiveness. Isn't it your claim contradicting 
My claim about what? My claim could reckon what? what no, you? because you you just you just made a claim that uh, Allah has a problem with uh, associating uh, angels as females. But no, associate, associating associating as when I say associate, mean his helpers, messengers, assistants. That's what I said. So, uh, you, the, your first question was, how we can determine the the gender? You, you gave me a verse. You said, nowhere it says that this is the gender of the angels are male, right? Yeah, that's it. That's okay. So I'm not saying that uh, Allah. He when I say associate, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about uh, Allah saying worship the angels. No. I'm saying he don't associate himself with any but males. So Muhammad is a male. Angels are males. The spirit, when they come down, according to Islam, they are males. So Allah don't associate himself with anything. And he, he is male. Like why the Muslim, they call him he? Why Allah in the Quran says, why you worship uh, uh, females? Why he's saying that? So, Allah, he called himself he. Allah, he say, if I want to have a son, I will take a wife. Allah, he says, how can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? All of those is enough to prove to us that Allah obviously is a male. Why Allah did not say? You know, in Arabic, we can, we can, uh, there's many words we can use without naming the gender of the partner. So Allah did not need uh, to say, how can I have a son without having a girlfriend? He can say, I am not uh, married. Not married. A woman can say it. A man, he can say it. He can say, I don't have a spouse. But he chosen to say, he is the originator of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a children when he has no wife? So let us see how many times Allah he confirmed that he is a male. He, then he, then he, then wife, then he. <laughs> so if all of this did not confirm to you until now that Allah obviously is a male, I give up. All right? Okay, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll go back and uh, uh, study more about it. I have another question regarding Genesis, uh, which we discussed yesterday. Is it again, okay? again, my friend, I don't understand what you are saying. I don't understand. Sorry. I mean, regarding the Genesis, we spoke yesterday about. I don't understand uh, you. I don't. Genesis. My friend, my friend, I don't understand you. Yeah. Your voice okay. is is your your microphone is is horrible. You know. Now, now, can you hear me? I'm not even now. Okay. Yeah. Can you type again your question? Same time, when a Christian person, he have a question about the Old Testament or New Testament, uh, we have Christians, we have a, a, a million website with interpretation of the Bible. Why, why people don't do that? Why nobody want to do that? I think people are just lazy. Are you a Muslim, Talash? That's right, yes, yes I am. Oh, I mean, you convert. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, I just type my question. In Genesis, in Genesis 18, uh -huh. Yeah, you see, uh, if we go to Genesis 18, you see that the Muslim, they say, <clears throat> God is not a man. 
If you remember once, <laughs> uh, David Wood was debating with this guy, this kid, uh, Mimi Hijab. Uh, Mimi Hijab, he claimed that not a single Jew believed that God is a man. But because David Wood is not a good debater, you know, you should right away slam in his face from the Quran and from the Bible, you know. So the Genesis 18 speaking about God appearing to Abraham. And uh, when he saw three men here, you will see that the, the number three always have a, like significant uh, uh, details uh, in Christianity. And actually Muhammad, he copied that from Christians. This is why you see everything in Islam is based on number three. Everything, not a single thing, including evolution. Even when they call Allah, they call him three times. When Allah, he called himself, he say Allah, Rahman, Rahim. <clears throat> uh, so in Genesis, when they speak about God coming as a man, and the Muslim, they reject how God can be a man, and they say nobody believes in that. That's absolutely false. And actually the Quran can lead us to the same details. But if we go to John, uh, chapter 8, verse number 56, uh, or you can read the verses before it, you will see that uh, uh, the Messiah, he confirmed that Abraham, he saw my day, and he rejoiced for it. <clears throat> so when, when the Messiah says, they say to him, how that can happen? You are not even 50 years old. You know? So he said, truly, truly, I say to them, he saw my day, he rejoiced for it. So yes, God appeared to uh, to Abraham as a man. And Jesus here referring to that as himself. Did I answer you? Now, I want to ask you, as long as you are a Muslim, is your God Allah a man? You can try to answer by the microphone. Let me see if I can understand. Is your, is your God Allah? Uh, I believe so because uh, he said that it uh, clearly states that uh, Allah made Adam in his image. So right. yeah, e even that one, even that one, uh, Muhammad is copying the Old Testament in the book of Gen uh, in Genesis. God he created Adam in his image. However, as long as you, you agree, Allah is a man. But you don't you think that Allah is incapable of being God when He said He is a man? Why? Because God in the Bible, who is a man, he can have a son without having a girlfriend. Which means he is almighty. He do not need a female in order to accomplish such a thing. Allah in the Quran himself, questioning his ability, it's not the Christians, it's not the Jews, it is not the, the Arab, is asking Allah how can he, it is him using the term, how can he? You see, this verse alone is enough for you to leave Islam. Because if Allah is God, how he says such a statement? If he is the originator of the heaven and the earth, so he's what? The originator. Then how he so say, how can he have a children when he has no wife? That is the most stupid statement contradict the first statement before it. If he is the originator, with the one who originate everything, he do not need a wife. Correct, guys? Yes. Okay, CP, uh, I, had, I had the same question which I asked my Imam, and this was his answer. Okay, can you me clearly now? I hear you. you said he did not answer. He said he did not answer. No, no. No, no, he answered. I, okay. I will give you what he said. What he okay. said, to, what he told me is that Allah is one. Allah, now, Allah there is, is nobody else. Allah is just one. There okay. is nobody else like him. So he cannot have another wife or another person. The reason he doesn't have a son is because there cannot be anybody like him. He is just one. So if he has a wife, it has to be someone like a, a female version of Allah. If he has children, he has to be, he has to have the, all the attributes of him. Well, there's only one, which is why he's alone. And he cannot have uh, a woman. 
All right, my friend, your imam is a donkey because his, uh, his statement is refuted in the Quran in chapter 21 in al Anbiya, where it says, had we, you know, intended to have a son or a wife, we will take it from, uh, uh, from ourselves. So if Allah is one and there's nothing like him, then how Allah saying he will take a wife then from us? So your imam is an idiot. Number two, if we go, this is chapter 21, verse number 17. Number two, if we go back to the same verse, the one who said, well, Allah, there is nobody with him. He's alone, so he cannot have a son. But that is not, this is not about having a wife. This is about having a son. So what he just told you, Allah is the same as us. If he is alive, if I, if I live alone in the island and there's no women with me, thank God, then I cannot have a son. That is the answer from a man. This is not from God. God is almighty, which means saying the statement, how can he? You know, see how can, how can that mean Allah cannot be God? Because can is always what God can do. Unless the Muslim, they believe in a trinity. And then there is a job for, for, the, for the father, a job for the son, a job for the Holy Spirit. Here, Allah questioned his ability, not possibility. Can is about ability. So, first of all, nobody is asking him to have a wife. Because the Christian don't believe that God have a wife. In order to have a son. Not a single Christian believe that God the Father, he married from Mary, and then they have a baby, his name is Jesus. How cute. So the imam who told you the answer is a potato. Bring him here and people will die laughing at him. No, no, see, see Pete, the previous Al Anbiya, uh, ayah that you showed, uh, doesn't say we could have taken from the creation. It says that if we wanted a son, we could have taken a wife from one of our creation. In other words, where is the word our cre where is the word our creation? Can you show it to me? Uh, I check it from Quran.com. My friend, uh, your, your Quran.com is a scam. Here we go. It says from us. And where is the creation? The word the creation. You can copy each one of those words alone in Google, just one by one. And you will see the word the creation does not exist. So what the Muslim they do? They fabricate Quran in order to fix the Quran. And this is another reason for you to leave Islam. If Islam is from God and the Muslim they claim, they never corrupt the book. Why, when they translate, they change the meaning so you can be confused more? Simply because this verse is enough proof that Allah is a fraud. In the top of that, if we wish, just to show you how stupid what, what the logic you are, I'm not saying you are stupid, the logic you are, that you are trying to understand from the Muslims. A minute ago, you said to me, the Imam told you, if Allah want to take a wife, well, there's no one like him. They have to be from the same kind. Two minutes after, you said to me, oh, here it says, if Allah want to take a wife, he can take it from his creation. So which one is valid? If he cannot take a wife from someone is not like, is, is like, have to be like him. And now he is saying, if he want to take a wife, he will take it from his creation. <laughs> that is a total contradiction. However, the word the creation does not exist. It says us. Us. And you can go and read the interpretation. And you can just copy word by word, post it in Google, and you will see word by word. And then you will see, know what it says. Our creation. The word the creation does not exist. So my friend, they lie to you. And you are a victim of their lies. You better repent and leave the cult, you are following Satan. Anything okay, else? Uh, I have one more question regarding Genesis. Okay, I, I studied what uh, Genesis 13 should give us. If before, you know, we I, keep we keep going from place to place. Like, So, what do you think about this? Is that can be from God? I didn't hear you. Can you repeat? Do you think this is, can be really a statement from God? Like, if I want to take... A woman for fun. In fact, in Arabic it says lahu. 
lahwa which means a woman for fun, prostitute. We would have taken it from us. What kind of God he says such a statement? What, what, what I have understood and what my Imam taught me is that uh, Allah is one. Who okay, cares if he is one, one, my friend, you see. Uh, uh, just uh, uh, go down from the stage, please. I, I'm not in the mood to continue with this stupidity. Guys, God is one. Who cares? So what if God is one? Satan is one. Muslim believe that Satan have children, but he don't have a wife. If Satan can have babies without having a wife, then how come Allah cannot have babies without a wife? You know, you, like, you lose your patient. Sometimes I wonder really, I don't want to be sound like an atheist, but did God create those people? I mean, what he gave them? What is the brain he gave them? God is one. Who care? Do you think when you say God is one is a big deal? Who cares if the God is one or 10 or 50? That the question is if God is true or not. He is 10, 20, 10,000. When is that a big deal? They're, those Muslims, they think God is one. Like some, some, you know, and those naive, stupid ones, they think that the Muslims have a privilege, that God is one. The one who worships Satan, there's people who worship Satan. Their God is one. They are monotheists, more, more, than, more than Allah. We don't reject the God of the Hindus. They have 35 million gods. We don't reject them because they are 35 million God. No, but because obviously they are false. They worship rats, elephants, whatever. So it's not how many. Let us say in reality, there's a, a trillion God. Okay, we cannot change that. They are a trillion God. So only silly human being, he think that he have a privilege when he say he believe in one God. A one God which we cannot explain and he cannot explain himself. A one God who have a foot and a shin and five fingers. A one God who sit in a chair and he write the name of Muhammad as a chair. The first graffiti in history. One God who is so wise to the point he believed that Suleiman have a flying carpet. And he sent Suleiman to learn how to speak to the birds. So Suleiman, he entered the classroom of birds. Alhamdulillah, I've been taught the language of the birds. Suleiman go out of the street, he see an ant, he understand the ants. He just told you the language of the birds. And you are talking to the ants? Are you sure, Suleiman, that you spoke or you learned the correct language? Uh, Vision, go ahead. Vision? Are you there? Well, talk. You're not muted. Why well, you are in the stage to be? Okay, maybe this guy, he put his hand up by mistake. Or maybe his wife, she pushed him. All right. <clears throat> So the idea of having one God can change nothing of the value of the one you are following. He is one, he is seven, he is twenty, he is sixty. Only stupid, naive people, they think it make a difference. It doesn't. Uh, a? Go ahead, brother. B? I don't know what people, they call themselves a letter. I mean, give yourself a name so we can see it. A, hey, are you there? 
You need to push to talk. All right, guys, if you don't want to talk, please don't waste my time. My voice is already gone, you know. My voice is tired already, you can tell. Actually, I bought today, I will receive them today some, uh, like, you know, the candy for the, uh, for the throat. I hope that will help, because I'm speaking too much. Go ahead. How you doing, Christian Prince? I'm oh, fine, Adrian, go ahead. A uh, quick question. Um, what is your take on um, uh, in Tafsir uh, al Qutbi? It says um, that uh, Jesus sent Paul and Peter and their disciples, but Muslims, they reject it because it comes from Ibn Ashaq. Well, you know, the Muslim, they will reject anything will make Islam look stupid. Same time, Ibn Ishaq is the source of all the hadith. Where they get their hadith from? Who is the first person in their history who reported the biography of Muhammad and his stories? So they are hypocrite. In the top of that, why al qurtubi or Ibn Kathir or all other scholars, al baghawi big names, why they write those things in their books if it's invalid? So simply what is invalid is the dignity of Islams and Muslims. They are sneaky. In their books, they say something. When they Christian, when they speak to Christian, they say, Sorry. why Muhammad never accused Paul of saying something bad, doing something bad? Why, 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 how come the Muslim, they say, Paul is a bad person, Muhammad never says so. Is the Muslims are more at the, like uh, uh, Allah told them, but Allah did not tell Muhammad? Muhammad, he have, a, he have hadith about shaking your penis three times. He have hadith about cleaning your ass with a rock three times, three rocks. He have hadith about a shaitan sleeping in your nose, pissing your ears. So he have all kinds of silly, stupid things to say. But he could not say once something important about Paul. So this is about Paul. Is the Muslims looking for how we can fight Christianity? Paul is a very conservative person. In fact, many things in the Quran is forbidden because of Paul. Muhammad was trying to copy Paul. Being a drunk is from Paul. Fornication is from Paul. All the things that Muhammad he claimed, it is from Paul. If you try to, if you go and search those verses in the Quran, you can do it right now. Do study your own. Search for those verses and compare them to the verses Paul he said about the same topic. You will see Muhammad is copying Paul. Yeah, I noticed that. And also, like, uh, in the sealed nectar, it's referencing a bunch of Ibn Ashaq. Like, I don't get, like, that's one of the most recognized biographies of their prophet, no? Well, my friend, uh, when you are debating a snake, you need to hold the head, not the tail. And we hold them from their head. If the Quran did not say the three messengers who they are, that means the Quran is a failure. So when the Muslim, they try to explain the failure of the Quran by saying those are Paul and John and Peter, then the Muslim should ask themselves, why the Muslim did not, okay, if they are not those three, who are they? We are waiting. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's, that is very true. Not yeah, only that, crazy. why they are they saying just... that those three messengers, they went to Antioch. All of us in your way with what 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 Antioch have to do with the history of Christianity, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we know who is right. the ones who went to Antioch. So obviously, the whole story is a theft, and the whole idea of Muhammad is a theft. Muhammad is he did not bring a religion. Muhammad is a collector of other religions. The same when the Jews, uh, you know, uh, they came to Muhammad and they told him. Uh, tell us about uh, uh, Zulqarnayn. They made him believe, they told him he's a prophet. So Muhammad now, he, he trusts the Jews, as, as uh, Quran 9, uh, 61 says, he's an ear. So whatever you say to him, he believe it, because he is an ignorant person. So uh, they, they made him believe that he is a prophet, and Muhammad, he went and he asked those slaves who they are captured coming from the Babylon and even the Quran mentioned about those two. 
uh, the Quran uh, 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 mentioned that those they have, uh, they accuse him that he is getting his stories from those two slaves. So Muhammad said to them, well, you know what? Uh, 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 those slaves, they, don't, they speak broken Arabic and uh, the Quran is not a broken Arabic, which is very stupid argument because you can speak to me now in English. I can make the story in Arabic, which is my first language. You can speak to me your story in a broken Arabic and still I can say the same story with a with good Arabic. Uh, if you go in the Quran, let's see here. Chapter 16, verse number 103. Indeed we know the polytheist, they say, uh, only human being who is teaching him. If you go and read the interpretation, they even give you the names of those two human beings. And they are slaves. Muhammad told them, and now he is refuting them. Will the tongue of those men they refer to is foreign? They are foreign people. While this Quran is a clear Arabic tongue. <laughs> do you see how stupid Muhammad is? What does this have to do with the clear Arabic tongue or not? You can be a Pakistani guy and you learn a broken Arabic and you tell me a story and then I write the story in a... Like now, Christian Prince, he wrote a book. Christian Prince teaching people here. Christian Prince, he have a broken English. But many of you have a very good English. You can make a book about what you learn from a Christian Prince. What does it have to do with this? So even the Quran documented that Muhammad is a thief stealing his stories from others and mostly they are foreigners. Mm. All right. Now, uh, just one last question. Um, do the, uh, the Muslims have several different Qurans, right? Mm-hmm. And they go off a of Hafs, right? Uh, not necessarily. They went in the location. Hafs became popular after the Saudi Arabia oil became massive and money. So they printed Hafs and they spread everywhere. Otherwise, before everybody, every country have different Quran. But now it became more popular because of the oil of Saudi Arabia. As an example, if you go to Morocco, they have only Warsh. They don't use Hafs. <laughs> Hmm. The other ones, they get it. They uh, like I know a lot of Muslims. They say like the other the other Qurans are not recognized because they have a lot of mistakes in them. Well, they supposedly this one have no mistakes. This this is the book of mistakes. <laughs> Same time, you see, when the Muslim they say there's other Qurans. So how do you say there's only one Quran, and then you say to me there's other Quran? Plus, <clears throat> uh, Muhammad, he claimed that it was his request from Allah to send seven Qur'an. And those are the hadith in front of us and they are authentic. <clears throat> Each time the angel Jibreel, he come down to him, Muhammad, he tell him, well, you know what, Jibreel, uh, ask Allah, my people, they cannot handle this. All right? And here you can see, an example of the story, and this is Sahih. This story here destroy Islam from the beginning to the end. Why? <clears throat> Muhammad talking to God. The God of Islam, according to Muslims, he wrote his Quran in the tablet before he created mankind. Muhammad now is asking Allah for more Quran. <laughs> So number one, that means the story of the Quran written before time is a lie. Which means Islam is a lie too. Because Allah in the Quran says, So Allah, he put the Quran in the tablet. Which one? As you see, Muhammad keep asking Allah for more Quran. More Quran means different Quran. Different way of reciting the Quran. And uh, each time the angel he come back to him, Muhammad he says to him, "My people are not capable for doing it. My people." Here you need to understand 
that what Muhammad he confirmed that Allah as an author of the Quran is incapable of explaining himself to the point Muhammad he need seven Quran written seven times so people they can understand the Quran and imagine seven times for Quran for people who speak one language so what we would do with, with India would have more than 400 or 4,000 language. If the Arab who live in Mecca, a small tiny tribe, needs seven Quran, so they might understand the Quran. How those who live in India, like Zakir Naik, with some prince, by the all, we can understand the Quran without knowing Arabic, you idiot. The Quran, your prophet saying, you they are not able to do it. Christian Prince, but the old Prophet Muhammad talking about the Quran and the old day. It was very heavy because it was big. Because at that time the people they were very thick. Look what heavy, what people are thick. There's no papers at that time, you donkey. And all your Quran is not even the index of my Bible. All the Quran is not even the size of the index of the Bible. You don't have a book. So simply, Islam is just a stupid. My friend, Adrian, let us give other people to speak, please, if you don't mind. So, you know, no. not only one person take uh, the time. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a who, Yeah, thank you. Who, who was next? Uh, Hi, question, friends. Okay, V, go ahead. Hey, um, I've been watching your videos for quite some time, and I love it. And I reckon Islam is the most stupid religion, because... Um, I'm going to tell you a bit of a short story. Uh, I was actually on Call of Duty and two Muslims started insulting me. So what I decided to do was insult them back, but I didn't have no, any information about Islam at the time until now. And yes, I am a fellow brother in Christ and I'm trying to learn more so I can actually help Muslims see the truth as well as using some vulgar, not... Um, well, it's kind of like it's salty language, but without the swearing. Part of the time I call them heathens or donkeys like you do. But um, I want to know more about it so I can help explain it to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Well, oh, yeah, this, this, what we, this is what we do here. <laughs> you know, this is what we do here. And, uh, yeah. we, you know, uh, please take notes if you are interested to learn. Because what I say, okay. maybe after five minutes you will forget, and then, uh, it, like the good thing we are we are making them in videos, so always you can have. But it's better if you download the videos, especially if you find a topic or a video explaining something can be very useful in your argument against the Abdul. Oh, definitely. Right. Especially, um, I looked up something called the Dawa um, script. I don't know if you heard of it or not. Dawa script. And okay. Yeah, the Dawa script, what they go off, they say, like, you know, how Paul's unknown, other stuff is unknown, and then, you know, so forth. Actually, all the prophets are known. It's based in all the scriptures. They're the ones that help, um, through the power of the Holy Spirit, that were in the, um, the, the prophets at the time of the Lord Jesus Christ, the eyewitnesses that I truly be believe, then something that came 600 years after the death of Jesus and no, and Muhammad knows nothing about it. Why would I trust a pedophile than someone that is, you know, not holy nor what, whatsoever, even though Jesus was holy? You know what I mean? It, not only this, I mean, there's tons of reasons not to trust Muhammad. And if Muhammad is a good person, uh, even if he's a good person, but he's not, that will not be a reason. A good person that is say in the appearance, because I can now give you speeches about being good, and uh, you know, but doesn't mean I am uh, I'm a good person. There's many, they uh, even between the Christians who they are fake priests. They dress nice, they speak nice, but they their target is money, you know, wealth, possession. So, the Lord He warned us. He says, "Be aware of false teachers who come to you in the clothes of a sheep." But they are wolves. So it's not necessarily someone. He is a closing sheep will make him good. However, in the case of Muhammad, is so much exposed. 
Mm. In the beginning, he came in a clothes of a sheep, like he was, uh, like because he's he's a weak. He don't have an army, so he yeah. was, he's okay. If you know, no problem. Uh, Christians will go to heaven. Jews will go to heaven. Sabian will go to heaven. And then, at the end of Muhammad's life, this is where the Tawbah came. The chapter of the Tawbah. Kill them wherever you find them, slaughter them, make them pages, yeah. Because now Muhammad is a new person who have an army. So Muhammad, when he was a rabbit, was in a clothes of a sheep. Muhammad, when he have an army, is the wolf. And this is the stages of, it's called Islam, Al-Hijrah. So the Muslim, they come to a country. They, in the beginning, they play that we are obedient by the law. We respect the law. We love America, we love England, we love Australia. And when they become big in the population, then you will see a different scenario. Yes, yeah, so the, the, the true color shiner. I've seen numerous videos of Muslims. This is the reason why I hate Islam with a passion. Um, that one of our Christian brothers was actually, well, I think it was either Christian or Jew, one of those two. And um, he was actually insulted by the Muslims. And I'm just sitting there and just like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Yeah, then, it's um, not it's it, not the fault of the it's not the fault of the Muslims. Here you need to ask yourself certain questions. Uh, why there's nobody there to support this individual? Why he's alone? What is the rest? The guy you are talking about, he's a Jew, but I saw other Christians too. Why they are alone? Where is the rest of the Christians? Where is the rest of the Jews? So you know there is a problem that when one of us he is uh, challenged physically. We don't want to do harm to Muslims. We don't want to fight with them physically, but we have the right. We have the right to defend ourselves. And you notice in some countries, police are useless, like in England, and they let the Muslims get away with all their crimes. In fact, I think I, I think I think the the guy who is in charge of counter terrorism in England is a Muslim. Imagine. So. Uh, so if the one who supposedly chased terrorist, he himself is a Muslim. So what do you expect? Uh, however, when a Christian he go to preach, why not too many Christians they go with him, at least to make a circle around him so nobody can push him and touch him and harass him. Why he go alone? Where is the Christians? If I go right now in speaker corner, how many will be with me? Um, maybe a couple. Um, but, uh, but is that well, enough? You have like no, two, no, you will have 200 Muslims and we have like five. Where is the Christians? Now, I don't go really in, you know, in street uh, because I'm a very hot uh, blooded person. And if somebody touched me, I might go out of control. You know, I don't want to end going in jail, you know. Uh, I pretty much stuff on mine as well, so. Yeah, so I, I avoid, I, I avoid, there. I avoid in person attention. Because uh, I, I will never tolerate someone trying to do physical harm uh, to me. Uh, even though the Bible says, like, turn your cheek, but the Bible did not say turn your cheek to people who they are like those. Turn your cheek, and the Bible is about somebody he have ethic. So he will feel the shame. Like, you know, okay, beat me more. Go ahead. You want to hit me? You're going to hit me. He, he will feel ashamed. But those people have no shame. It's taught in their religion. Yeah that you this is what you should do when jesus spoke about turn the cheek there's a roman law says if you hit the other cheek you go to jail so jesus saying to them use the law when jesus speak about turn the cheek he's speaking about people who they are your neighbors your your city not people coming to invade you like muslims coming to do jihad and having sword or isis we don't turn the cheek for those so we, we need to understand that uh, allowing evil will not make evil stop being evil. We should stand against evil and we don't want to disturb peace anywhere. You know, we are against violence. Uh, but in the same time, Christians should be uh, able, always and ready to defend themselves. And those people, the, the more they, they see you peaceful, the more they think you are a coward. In fact, Muslims, you know, like uh, in, in uh, maybe two weeks ago, there's a guy he came here and, he, and his name is Jeshua. I don't know if you heard him. 
This guy, Joshua, so. yeah, Joshua come to the mic. He says, Christian Prince, you should speak to Muslim in a different way. This is not the Christian way to talk. And he oh, yes, I heard it. Yeah, I watched the video of that. Yeah. Yeah, I watched the video of that. Um, I watched and, it actually and I, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, and I asked him, okay, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. uh, how many Muslims became Christians because you, the way you do it, the right way? He said zero. I said, ask me the same question, yeah. you know. And you said 10,000 plus. Thousands of thousands. I'm not saying thousands. Yeah. Nobody knows. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you go, if you go in the Quran, it says why the Christians are nice. Because they are not nice. But because Allah, he put shame and humility on them. This is in chapter 3, verse number 12. So Allah, he put worth and shame and humility over them. So when a Muslim, he see you nice and peaceful, he believe the Quran is the truth. He don't say, oh, you know what? Those are people following Jesus. That's why they are peaceful. No, no, no. The Quran say to them, the reason they allow you to insult them because Allah, he put shame on them. Do you see it? Yes, I do. So when you are the friendly a Christian with the Muslims, they took it wrongly. That's why I know their mentality, and I speak to them in the language of Abdul, potato, donkey, idiot. Yeah. All right. Thank because, you. Um, the reason why I ask you those questions is because in the Bible, I can't remember what chapter it says, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Yeah, they're ignorant. And, oh, correct. Yeah. Yeah. So right. that's the reason why I ask you these questions, because um, I, I don't know Arabic. If I know uh, what? I don't know uh, Arabic. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. No so, um, yeah, plus um, I've never read the Quran before. But I only picked up the verses that would hopefully help the Muslims see that it's like of the devil and help them turn away from it. So I'm pretty much doing the same thing that you're doing. Well, you do not need to know Arabic now because we are teaching you. Well, thank you, brother, for the share. We have many people waiting, if you don't mind. Oh, no problem. All yeah, right. thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Who was next? Uh, Blar? Hello, sir. Go ahead. I'm from, from Nigeria. Okay, my friend, can you wait a little bit because we have uh, people who they are here before you, if you don't mind. Okay, okay. Balari, you were next or Sheikh? Balari was first. Okay, Balari, are you there? Okay, Balari. Balari is taking a shower. Okay. Uh, okay, Sheikh, go ahead. Okay, um, so... Uh, as you, as you know, um, Jesus and you know Allah probably as well confirmed uh, both scripture, Torah, and the Injil. Um, oh, oh, okay, in Jesus' time and the time of Muhammad. And from what I remember, um, it never says in the Quran that it, further down in the future that the Torah and the Gospels will be corrupted or altered. Is that right? My friend, the Quran never say the Torah and the Bible are corrupted. It's the opposite. What the Quran yeah. speak about, the Quran speak about this. The word Tahrif, the word Tahrif is mentioned in the Quran by those who they change the meaning. All right. As an example, mm -hmm. Chapter 2, verse number 75, it says, those who hear the word of Allah and they change their meaning. If you see here. And the Muslim, they yeah. add the word Jews, even though the, the verse does not mention Jews. So they change what? They change their meaning. So Quran confirm what they have. If we go to a different place, you will see the Quran is speaking about changing the locations of verses. However, if you go and check the story, you will see that there's a Jew he put his finger over the verse. So that is not really a physical changing. He was trying to hide it. So again, the word Tahrif here appear about a Jew who put his hand over a verse. And we have reference where Muhammad, he took an oath on the Torah. 
and we have reference in the Quran, Allah confirming the Gospel and the Torah. And when you ask the Muslims, why Muhammad is taking an oath on the Torah? They say, well, he don't really take an oath in the whole Torah. He is, uh, he said, I believe in some, uh, like some of it, you know, uh, not all of it. Then you go to the, you go to the, I don't know what's wrong with my keyboard. Okay, hold on. So they ask him, okay, so why why he did that? He says, oh, he, he, he meant, he meant only part of it. And here you see the hypocrisy. Muhammad, he grabbed the whole Torah. He put it in the cushion. The whole Torah. And this is in the same incident where the Jews accused of a change in location of verses. By what? By putting their finger over it. Here it says, bring the Torah, Muhammad said. Then it was brought to him. And here you see Muhammad the hypocrite is withdrawing a cushion from beneath of him. And he placed the Torah in on it saying, I believe in thee and he, him who revealed thee. Yes. So the accusation of, uh, you know, this is just because, you know, uh, uh, Muslims are <clears throat> desperate to prove their cult. You know, the, the way I see Islam is like a whore. She have no honor. <laughs> And this this yeah. whore, she tried to attach himself, herself to someone have honor. So we Christians, we wash our hands from Islam. Yes. Muslims, they say Jesus is uh, Muslim, Moses is Muslims, Abraham is Muslims, uh, Mary is Muslim, everybody is a Muslim. But if Jesus is a Muslim, then he should be a pedophile like your prophet. He should teach yeah. lying. He should teach, uh, 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 you know, deception. He should teach that you can light your wife. He can he should teach uh, uh, polygamy. He, uh, and not only that, even the God of the Muslims is not a spirit. Our God is a spirit. So we even have a major difference in the nature of God. Our God is a spirit. Plus God, our God have a son. Their God cannot even have a son without a girlfriend. So Islam is just a whore. She is looking for honor. And we will never give her that. All right. Never, never will. All right. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Let us give the, 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 the uh, Bilar. Are you back? Bilar? Can you hear me? Okay. I hear you now. Go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah. Because I'm debating, well, discussing with those Muslims, and uh, it always comes down like to, to a certain blockage. So I'm going through, through the Holy Spirit with them to show them that, like, if you look only at Quran, you cannot say that it's Jibreel, right? You only know that it's from God, the Holy Spirit, and it sends revelations to uh, prophets, right? All right. Um, so I go through this with them. I go with the fact that Jesus is in heaven from Quran, right? He will come back to earth as final judge. Um, so I show them that, like, okay, you see, like, Joseph, uh, Jesus is considered, like, immortal because he's still alive right 2000 years old we don't know when the hour will come but we know that when the hour comes god will send him to rule the earth right mm -hmm. so i make them say it themselves right they explain the trinity by themselves they just don't want to call it the trinity and then the 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 guy he tells me you cannot do that because this is uh this is a tamsil uh sifat I promise, CP, when I look at the definition, I, I fell on the floor. I was dying laughing. The guy, he tells me that you cannot do like representation or mimicry or acting or like uh, um, just uh, imagining what it is. But then they tell you every time you try to, to look at something with them, they tell you, yeah, but this is metaphorical. But just the word metaphorical is... is, is the thing, yeah. Exactly. It's, I Islam, was is a, is Islam is a stupid... Thing. Yeah, Islam is a stupid, you know... It, uh, Islam is a stupid whore. <laughs> <laughs> CP, I was dying. The guy, he then asked me if I speak Arabic. Like, I don't have the cleanest Arabic. I have the dialectal broken Arabic. Yeah. But still, if I see a mumassil, I know it's Muhammad, right? So... 
I was dying and trying to explain this to him. He tells me this is shirk. I tell him, from the first person who recites Quran, this is Tamsil shirk, right? Yeah. Crazy cult. All right, my friend. Thank you very much. Okay. Let, let us hear this uh, friend from Nigeria. I just wanted to... Oh, he's gone. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, uh, uh, F from Nigeria. Yeah. yeah, I want to appreciate your work. All right. You have been a blessing, God bless you. And your work has been helpful for us Christians in Nigeria. We have converted them to our local languages and it has been blessing and it has been wonderful. I, I have a few questions. Go ahead. By the way, yeah. there, there's a Nigerian brother. He is translating my book into Nigerian language. So soon we will have it and we will share it with everybody for free. Yeah, your, your videos are helpful and we are right. converting them to Yoruba language. It has been wonderful. All right. I want to ask, you see, you mentioned some things about Paul. Yeah. Two years back, I called you to make video for me and you did and use the video. But you said there are some, we know about it in K3, but that you said there are about 30 other references. Uh, I don't, I don't understand. Can if you can speak slower, please. I'm trying to understand you. Okay. okay. So I made a video about you, Paul and? Surah 36, I have 14. Surah 36, so, I have 14. Surah what? Surah 36, I have 14. 36, 36, Buddhist. okay. 36, okay. 36, yeah. 14. You okay. said that yeah. 36, 14. Uh -huh. Talk about other references uh -huh. aside Ibn K3. I uh -huh. would be glad if I can lay my hands on those other references aside Ibn K3. Okay, so I, I, uh, to make it simple, maybe I can give you. Uh, a, uh, let me search in the internet. I think there's some Christian they made, but it's in Arabic, but you can use Google Translation, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let us see. Now I can give you more. I can give you more, but yeah, uh, the, those website, those website will do will do enough, you know. So if I search right now, Paul, Paul in the Quran, or Paul, Messenger of Allah, we will find tons of reference. Let us see this one here. All right. Okay, this one is good. So open this link. All of those, it's endless reference. Actually, this guy he did a good job. So if you open this link, but you have to use Google Translation. Do you see the? Yeah, do, do, I see the do you see the link? Okay. I just posted. Yeah. Seeing... yeah. Okay. But you, but you have to use uh, Google Translation. Google no, Translation. No, I'll yeah. do that. All right. God bless you. And maybe and maybe you yeah. can make an article about it in your language. You know. Sure. And so people who speak your language can see how Paul and all the reference. This is some of the reference actually, not all, but it's more okay. over. It's overwhelming. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I've seen it. Yeah, another thing. You talk about Muhammad was an idolater. You see, yeah. you quoted Surah 29, Ayah 46, and Surah 74, Ayah 5, and Surah 93, Ayah 7, okay. where Muhammad was warned from idolatry. Okay. And Surah 96, Ayah 7 said he was found lost. Yeah. Yeah, is there any reference where maybe a zero or a deed that said Muhammad actually practiced idolatry because Muslims usually say no, he's not talking about idolatry, he's only being warned. No, the Quran is clear that uh, Muhammad never have a book. That's why the Quran actually called the Christians and the Jews, people of the book, and call the Muslims Ummiyin. Why they are Ummiyin? Because all of them, they are pagan. So, in the top of that, uh, when the Quran speak about Muhammad, it says, So he found him lost. And then he died. So if Muhammad was, as Muslim they claim, since he was a kid, he was following Abraham, which is a big fat lie, because all of us, we knew that Muhammad is born of a pagan family. Even his grandfather and his uncles, they die as big. And his uncle, he, he refused to convert to Islam, the one Muhammad grew in his house. But you will see here in the Muslim translation, look how they lie. It says, He found you, 
he found you anywhere. There's a guy, if you remember guys, when we made the video, I went to, to debate this guy with his name, learn, turn something, the potato. You remember guys when we went there? In the same video, if you remember, uh, at the end of this video, before he finished his broadcast, he, he ran away from debating me, even though I'm texting in chat, says, let me join, you know, coward. At the end of the video, what he said, anyone remember what he said about Dal? Who remember? The word, he said, Dal, mean evil doer. Hmm. This is who is Muhammad. So the Quran confirmed. And if I'm lying, the video is there. I It's in my video too, because we're recording him saying that. I made a video about it. We, uh, after he left, we, uh, uh, we play his video again. And he said, I did not say what you claim. I say that one, the person who is dull is an evil doer. Is a bad person, but the Quran described Muhammad as a doll. Here, the Muslim translation is saying, "Find you unaware." That's absolutely false. Doll have nothing to do with being aware or unaware. Doll is somebody absolutely not following God, absolutely do not know who is God, and not only that, there's other verses in the Quran. Uh, you know, it says, "You do not know what the book." And you don't even have faith all those translation is false so if we go to the front verse hmm. you will see the Quran saying that Muhammad he do not know anything about the book all those you see in the screen now the, this website is really uh, stupid you know uh, like you, you type two words uh, let, hold on give me a second If we go to this verse, let us try again. If you read it carefully, you will see the Quran confirm that Muhammad, not only he do not know what is the book, but he don't know even what is faith. Do you see it? Yeah. This is cannot be Muhammad, he no faith, but not whole faith. It says you do not even know what is faith. So Muhammad was a pagan person to the bones. And now Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he inspired Muhammad. However, even the word here, inspire is a false. Why? Because inspiration is when God speaks to your mind directly, not when somebody comes to your door and squeeze you. <laughs> that is not inspiration. That is a delivery. So the stupid Muhammad, he cannot even make his mind how he received the Quran. Either you receive the Quran as inspired, or you receive the Quran by the delivery boy, which is Jibreel. So here you see, and the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. This is a book, again, full of stupid stories, and it contradicts itself. How the Muslim, they say Muhammad was always Abrahamic. If he is always Abrahamic, how he don't even know what faith is? Hmm. You don't know what the book. The Muslim, they will say to you, okay, if we go to the different verse, that Abraham... Don't they say Abraham, he came to Mecca? Did they say that, right? Yeah. All right. So Abraham is the one who built or rebuilt the Kaaba. To the point, they call it the uh, 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 Maqam Ibrahim. All right. And Ishmael, he was with him. Okay, wonderful. But then we go to the Quran. We find that Muhammad... 
He was the only one who came to Mecca to warn them about God. Hmm. So how nobody came to them before you as a warner and Abraham and Ishmael are the one who built the Kaaba and Muhammad is according to Muslims he is the descendant from Ishmael do you see it yeah and we have given no scriptures to study nor we sent them before thee I mean the Quran make it even more stupid by saying before thee because the Muslim they might say it says nor we send them it's talking about now no 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 talking about before before thee so if Muhammad did not add the word before thee Muslim they can play with it but now it's confirmed to be a big poo, -poo with a lot of a smell all right brother yeah all right thank you yeah, 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 you see, I have another question. Uh, uh, if you don't mind, let us give other people, you know, the, uh, the oh, time. Okay, you okay. can come back thank again. You. All right. Yes. Okay. Thank yes. you. All right. Bye. Uh, King, go ahead, my friend. Hello, Christian Prince. Uh, I'm Nigerian as well, but um, based in the UK. I've got two questions. Uh, the first one, I'm a Christian. All right. uh, the first one is um, talking about what you just mentioned. It says, if the, Quran, if the Quran was a false book, in it we would have found contradictions. Correct. Now, you said that the Quran was recited over, you know, it was passed down from person to person. So how can they be talking about a book when the Quran was recited by the Muslim people in battle? Well, if, you know, it was recited. It went, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, you know, I will give you the Muslim answers, you know. Uh, Muslims they are sneaky they can say well the Quran called the Quran Kitab but yet there is no book you see Kitab so the word Kitab used for the Christians used for the Jews but when when they say the people of the book they mean Christians and Jews only but Muhammad as an example chapter 2 verse number 89 it says when there comes to them a kitab, not scriptures, you see, the Muslim translation says scriptures, that's false. It says kitab from Allah, confirming what is in their position, which confirming the Bible and the Torah. So did Muhammad receive a kitab? No, that is another stupid mistake. This is why the Muslim, they try to make it sound like scriptures. Kitab is not necessarily a scripture like I have a kitab I have many kitab brought myself and they are in Amazon but they are not scriptures and when we say the word kutub mean many books we say kitab we mean one book so kitab have nothing to do with the word scriptures this is why it says here to make it clear what kind of kitab it is it says when come to them a kitab from Allah that will make it scriptures but still it's a kitab so did Muhammad receive a kitab no he did not and this is another stupid mistake in the same verse. In the top of that, the verse confirmed that the book we have in our position 600 years after Jesus is accurate. And not only that, in Arabic, it doesn't say actually confirming. It says, مصدقون لما معهم. He is believing in what is in their position. This is mean that the Quran should believe in our book, not the opposite. So if the Quran today says Jesus is not God, that means the Quran today must be corrupt because the Quran used the word Musaddiq Lima Ma'ahum to what? Believing in what is with them, not only confirming, believing and confirming. All right? Sure, that's fantastic. Um, I'm a Christian, but I have one more question. All right. Just to do the check, Muhammad is a false prophet, is a pedophile. But one of the things I've been wondering about was, you see the angels in heaven, they have free will. So does it mean that Lucifer as a person, as an angel, you know, he went against God? 
I was also thinking about it because, you know, when we talk about the Trinity, we assume that Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and, you know, the Father are one. But if the angels are a part of the Spirit, and the angels could go against, you know, the Father, like Lucifer did, does that create a problem? Because I've been thinking about it for a very long time, and it's like... I don't understand, because, yeah, you see, the angels are a creation, uh, they are not part of the Trinity, and they have nothing to do with the Trinity. So they are the same as, okay. same as us, you know, we are created too. And uh, we have a role in life. Angels have different role in life. They have different nature. But doesn't change the fact that they are creatures created by God. So free will, uh, why God, he gave a free will in Christianity. In Islam, there is no free will. Free will is the only way to know, let us say, or let us say, uh, uh, for me to know, but for God, to be fair, you know, for me to know, because uh, for me, I do not know what you will do tomorrow. Uh, for God, he knew what you will do tomorrow. He can see the future. So free will is the only way to be fair. So now if I am being forced to be a good person, so why I will be deserving to be in heaven? I mean, I'm being forced. It's not me. So free will is a very much important of necessity to earn your position so when an angel he is falling he fall he lost his position as an angel he become a lucifer by his choice it's not god who created him because if god he created him to be satan then this is not fair because he didn't do he did do no wrong but god did not make him satan god make him an angel and then the angel decide to be Satan, the same as us. Many of us, we don't want to be good a human being in the world, like between two brackets, the word good. But we decide to be the same as Satan, evil, harmful, rapist, criminals, killers, liars. So in order for God to be fair with you when he judge you in the day of judgment, he have to give you the free will to be fair. Otherwise, God come for us, and that will make us the same as insect. Insect come from the egg, and you do not need to teach it education. The, the, the ant is going to do what ant do. They do not need to go through process of education, go to school, uh, class. And they are programmed. They do what they are ancestors did if we can use that word for years and years before them we are not insect we have a free will okay, okay so just to be clear because i saw someone in chat also say it angels are not part of the holy spirit the holy spirit is a separate is a separate part of angels are, cre are creatures angels are just like us angels are created okay that's why Jesus, when he said, when, when we go to heaven, we will be the uh, same as angels. Awesome. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Uh, who was first, Tropoli? I don't know. Uh, Tropoli, go ahead, my friend. Peace is a little bit upon you, brother. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I just wanted to add to what the brother was here was asking. Um, as in that the angels, when, when they rebelled, there is, we don't have, like me personally, I don't have the answers to, as to why things happened the way they did. But the fact that the Bible explains the things the way they happened, when we look at our world and the way that the world is, everything that the Bible says reflects the world, right? So when we look at the seven deadly sins, those are the sins that inflict us every single day in our daily lives. And the fact that uh, we are fallen in a fallen state. We are born of the flesh, but then born again in the Holy Spirit. It reflects the grace that the Lord gives us. For it is not by our works that we that we do anything good, but it is by His grace, right? And so, yeah. yeah let us stop uh, here. Oh, hold on, my friend. You see, when uh, uh, we Christian we say those words, even though they are true, they can be uh, some people. They can use them in the wrong way. So when we say we are saved by the grace of the Lord, which is a true, uh, not by our work, which is not true, which is true, uh, but that is not really the total image. Because the Bible says, 
faith without work is a dead faith. It's dead. Right. So it is not our work will save us, but our work is the living proof that we are following Jesus. Absolutely. This is why Jesus says, from their fruits, you shall know them. I know them. So if you are a person who say, I am just saved by the grace, and then I can go fornicate and kill and steal, you are going to hell. Correct? Right, right. Exactly. Right. No, no, actually, thank you for the correction, because it is yes. true. I mean, the whole point of the grace is the works that uh, succeed after it, right? When you are graced, when you are saved through grace, then the works match that level of grace for his mercy endures forever and so our works have to match that great uh, that mercy either way we're kind of mocking god in that way right and, yeah that will uh, make us hypocrite if we say uh like this is what the muslim actually they lie about us and they say the christian believe that jesus died for their sins so they can rape they can kill they can steal this is absolutely false it is the opposite it is muslims who believe in that muslim believe if they say shahada yeah, just say Alhamdulillah a hundred times, right? A hundred times? No, no, even Shahada, that's going to take you to heaven, right, right away. Shahada alone will take, which means all what Muhammad said, there's no need for the rest. Just say Shahada. So Islam is the one who gives license. In fact, there's a verse in the Quran, you know, uh, Muhammad, he fabricated a verse saying that his God gave him license. to sin. The Muslim, they say, uh, let us see, fix it here. Well, he gave them many licenses to sin, right? Yeah, I don't know why it says, Ma taqaddam. Okay, li'afir Allah. Read this one. that Allah may forgive your sin for the past and the future. Why God say the following? Here there's many mistakes. The first one is may. If Allah is the person who knew the future, the word may is invalid. If Allah will forgive the sin of Muhammad, he should not say me. If Allah is just, why he is giving a statement of sin of Muhammad in the past and in the future? And why Allah hiring a man, he do sin in the past, he do sin in the future and give him a license for sin. And then guide you to the straight path. Okay, if you are guiding him, so why this guy is sinning? If you are the really, uh, let us say, you are the supervisor of Muhammad. How you can be having a prophet supervised by God, yet he is a sinner in the past and a sinner in the future. And yet Allah is not sure, yet he is God. That's alone actually prove Allah to be a false God. First, Allah asking someone his name is Allah. If I am God and my name is Allah, why I say may Allah, imagine I say may a Christian prince forgive you. That would be very silly and stupid, right? I am a Christian yeah. I am a Christian prince. So why I wouldn't say may Christian prince forgive you? Aren't you a Christian prince? <laughs> so why Allah talking saying may Allah forgive you? This is stupid. This is somebody wrote this asking Allah to forgive Muhammad for his sin. It can't be Allah talking. I think I think Muhammad, when he was writing this, he forgot to ask Prophet Chad GPT, peace be upon him, to correct his text. Yeah, he forgot to switch the, the, the persona. <laughs> the idiot of the village, he became an author. All right, brother, uh, let us give the mic to Scoops, if you don't mind. Uh, I, I just want to... Ah, no, never mind. Hey, peace and love be upon you. Thank you for everything. God you're, bless you. You're welcome. Uh, Scopes, go ahead. Hello, can you hear and me? No more people come to the stage, please, because soon I have to leave, if you don't mind. Uh, go, Scopes. Uh, I want to ask you about uh, Bukhari 5134, where 
Muhammad uh, Himeri Aisha and consummate the marriage. Uh -huh. I'm speaking with some uh, Arab guy and he's saying that nowhere there says the word consummate. He's saying like uh, it, it means something else. Can you explain? It, it means uh, mean, what, what, what it means? What he told you? When he said it means something uh, else? He said this is a false translation and I shouldn't believe this. Uh, he no. didn't really explain. He said, I, I, I believe he, I guess he needed to do something. Well, this is their, this is their con uh, translation, not ours. However, I believe Muhammad, yes, he did not have intercourse according to Aisha until she is nine, but he was molesting her at the age of six. She is, at the age of six, his wife, but he did not have intercourse until she is nine, which means he was molesting her. All right? Uh... Yeah. It's, you know, so when, so when, when a Muslim, he say that, it's just to escape the, the humility and the stupidity and the... The description of his prophet being a bit of fire if you watch the video the video we had just yesterday in the morning we have a Muslim he was explaining to me if you go to the last part of the morning video we have yesterday he was explaining that Muslims are allowed to marry even a child in the womb however yeah yeah he said that the video is there you can cut it you can post it in your YouTube that people love and he said, the age is not important. What is important is if she can handle it. So as soon as the girl, the little tiny girl, she can handle his sexual intercourse, he can do it. But doesn't mean he cannot touch her. You know, there's a book, it's called Tahrir al Wasila. Mm -hmm. And then here you see Shia and Sunni, by the way, they agree about the same thing. Uh... Al Khomeini, you heard you heard of uh, Al Khomeini? I've heard of it, but uh, I don't really know what it is. No, Al Khomeini is the name of the founder of the Islamic State terrorist of Iran. Oh yes, yes, I know. Okay. So Al Khomeini, in the uh, in his book, uh, he said, all kind of sexual pleasure with an infant is legal but you should not do intercourse all right by putting your private part uh, between her legs or by hugs or by touch this is Islam you know so uh, uh, if we uh, if we go to the book of Al Khomeini let us see uh, let us see hold on And I will post the link for people. We have to use Google Translation in order to be able to read it. And I will post the link. If somebody can help me to post the links, please, in uh, uh, Rumble and Patreon, if you don't mind, if you please. Uh, if we go here, This is the book of Tahrir al-Wasila. You go here, it says number 12. We translate. Uh, let's translate the selection. Hold on. The problem when you click at anything, it translates only. Okay, translate. Translator, we need translate. Not translator. I think you have to copy the text you want to translate. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Anyway, so here it says, is it showing in the screen that uh, the text translation or no? Yes, I can see. All right. It is not permissible to have intercourse with the wife before complete of nine years of age, whether the marriage is permanent or enter like you know not not uh, like uh, for temporary as for all other pleasures such as touching with desire hugging and touching the the private part there is nothing wrong with them even with the breastfeeding female it's very young 
Like a baby. Bre breastfeeding, breastfeeding, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's yeah. like one day old, yeah. Very, very, this is why if you have a teacher, he is a Muslim, for your kids you have to be careful. The guy, we heard him yesterday, and the Quran confirmed it, and Muhammad, he practiced it, and the Muslim believe it, so those guys, they will not mind, have relationship with the kid, even if it's an infant. And look, imagine what he's saying. All kind of desire things, desire, he said desire. How in the world a man, he will have a desire for a breastfeeding female? <laughs> Very wrong in the head. <laughs> yeah. So, no, it's not about wrong in the head. This is satanic, demonic. This is why I say Islam is nothing but a whore. And it is filthy, stupid whore. All right? Yes. All right, brother. Thank you very much. And uh, guys, I will I will try to be back later. Thank you for the uh, response. You're welcome. I will try to be back later, maybe in a few hours. Uh, as you see, my voice is really tired. As you know, I need to give. I, I can stay, but my voice. I, I think you can feel it, right? Uh, so I'm talking too much, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, I purchased those candies for voice. Supposedly they are good for the throat. I know. We will see. They will supposedly they will, they will arrive today. So uh, I will try to be back later. And I hope if my voice is good, I promise you I will be back. But if it's not in a good condition, then I will take a break until tomorrow. All right. Thank you all. Love you all. And remember one thing: the devil wants your kids, even sexually. So join the fight against the devil, and don't say. None of my business is coming after you. Islam is a very dangerous cult, will destroy your community, will take security from it, will take safety from it. In the Middle East, every house have a bar over the window. In the Middle East, women, they are not safe to walk alone in the street. In the Middle East, women, they need a guardian, as Islam says. If Islam making the Muslims better people, why you need a guardian for my wife if she walk alone in the street? You need a guardian only if you send your sheep between the walls. And that what Islam make out of them. And we are here to defeat the wolf of Muhammad. His satanic teaching is number one wolf. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. God is willing. God is good. So is Jesus. I mean to that.